Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flow for flexibility. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in tabletop. So you can come over onto your hands and knees. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Maybe rock your hips side to side. And then let's just extend our right leg behind us. Tuck your toes. Push the ball of your foot into the mat. And push into your palm, sending your heel back behind you. A little rock forwards and back might feel good. Or maybe you don't have to try too hard to stretch your calf. Stretch your ankle. But just gazing down to your fingertips or closing your eyes. Take a breath. And then one more inhale. And letting the exhale bring your right knee back in. As you inhale, extend your left leg. Tuck your toes. Push the ball of your foot into the mat. Maybe push into your palms a little bit. And breathe. Let's take this time to let go of your day. Scan your body. Maybe take a deeper breath in and out to calm the mind. Let's stay for an inhale and let the exhale. Bring your knee back into your tabletop. If you need to come off your wrist for a moment, go for it. Or rock your hips side to side, go for it. Tuck your toes when you're ready though. Big breath in, exhale into downward facing dog. Pushing into your palms and maybe taking your dog for a little bit of a walk. Pedal your feet, let your head be heavy. Maybe lifting your heels nice and high and then trying to drop them down towards the mat. And breathe a little deeper than you have been all day. Awesome work, you guys. Let's stay for another full breath here. Inhale, exhale, ha. Use an inhale to look forwards. Exhale as you walk your feet all the way up to the top of your mat. With an inhale, take a half lift, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, folding forwards. Bend your knees and inhale all the way up to standing. Reach up, maybe looking up. Exhale as you lower your hands in front of your heart, down to your side, shoulder roll if you want one spread your fingertips wide take a big inhale reach up exhale folding forwards inhale half lift long spine exhale fold forwards big inhales you come all the way up to standing again reach up look up maybe exhale lower your hands in front of your hearts and all the way down to your sides we're going to step our feet out to the edges of our mat and turn your toes to point out to the sides with an inhale reach your arms up and as you exhale, we're going to fold forwards here. So bend your knees, lift your toes a little bit, and just fold as far down as you can. Bend your knees more so you can touch your fingertips down. Kind of like a squat almost meets a forward fold. Take an inhale, lift your chest again. Maybe keep those toes lifted. You can find some length through your legs, but still bend through the knees. And then exhale, fold again. And this time, plant your hands and take your right foot all the way back to the middle of your mat and let your knee come down. And now we're in lizard. And your left foot, if you need to adjust it, it's on the edge of our mat, our toes are pointing out, our knees falling out to the side. Untuck your back toes of that right leg and sink into your hips. Lizard. Nice job, you guys, just here for a moment. So if you do want to come down onto the forearms, you can come down onto your forearms. Maybe a very gentle rock side to side feels nice on your hips, maybe not. And if you did come onto your forearm, start to come back up, planting your hands. We're going to tuck our back toes, and if you can lift your knee, lift your back knee. Take an inhale, look forwards, and with an exhale, weirdly walk your back foot all the way up into the outside of your mat, the edge of your mat, so you come back to where you were. As you inhale, take a half lift. So keep a little bend through your knees, lift your toes, wake up your legs, half lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees more, plant your hands, and take your left foot back. 
Set up your lizard. Let your knee come down, untuck your back toes. If you need to make some adjustments, you can make some adjustments. Knees falling out to the side, toes are pointing out. Hands under your shoulders. A lot of love for the hips. And maybe, maybe coming down onto the forearm, so maybe not. Just breathing wherever you are. Nicely done, you guys. If you're on your forearms, make your way back up. Tuck your toes, maybe lift your knee. Inhale, gaze forwards, exhale. Bring your back foot to the top, outside edge of your mat, back to where you came from. Inhale for a half lift, a weird wide little bend through those knees, half lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Plant your hands, so bend your knees as much as you can to plant your hands and then walk your feet back into your downward dog. And your feet can come about hip width apart. Push into your palms, maybe lift your heels nice and high and then try to drop them down. Let your head get heavy and then use an inhale. Look forwards, exhale, walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, twofold. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Reach up, maybe looking up, and exhale, lower your hands in front of your heart, down to your sides. Step your feet out again, but this time toes pointing forwards. Hands to your hips, take an inhale to lengthen, and with the exhale, start to fold forwards. And this time, we're gonna pause in our forward fold. So you can either let your arms dangle, keep your hands on your hips, or interlace your hands behind your low back. Encourage your palms to get there a little bit, get into those shoulders. Let your head be nice and heavy. And if you're looking down to your mat or even your toes, start to shift your gaze between your knees so that your head can get a little heavier and your neck can stay in line with your spine a little bit more. Awesome work, you guys. If your arms are behind you, I want you to let them go. Or if your hands are on your hips, let them fall towards the floor. We're going to take an inhale and lift halfway up. So push into your feet, maybe lift your toes, lengthen your spine, and then exhale to fold forwards, planting your hands, and your right foot's going to come back to the middle of your mat into a lunge. Bring your knee down. Check on your left foot. Make sure your toes are still pointing forwards and this time hug your knee towards your left shoulder. And if you end up off of the back of your mat, like I did, <laughs> shimmy forwards a bit. <sighs> so hugging your knee in towards your shoulders, your toes are pointing forwards, sinking into those hips, softening the shoulders, and if it feels right to do so, you can drop down onto your forearms just here for another breath or two. And then you can start to tuck your back toes, maybe lift your knee. As you inhale, gaze forwards, exhale, bring your back foot to the top and the outer edge of your mat. Come back to where you came from. Inhale, lengthen your spine, half lift. Exhale to fold, planting your hands again. This time the left foot's gonna come back. Drop your knee. Untuck your toes, adjust your right foot if it moves slightly so your toes are pointing forwards, hugging your knee towards your shoulder. If it feels right to drop down to the forearms, go for it, but keep hugging your knee towards your shoulder. Awesome job, you guys. A lot of love for those hips. You can climb back up onto your hands. You can tuck your back toes. Maybe lift the knee. Inhale, gaze forwards. Exhale, bring your back foot back to where it came from. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, folding forwards. Nice job, you guys. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach up, maybe looking up. Exhale, lower your hands in front of your heart. Down to your sides. Take a shoulder roll if you want one. Start to step your feet all the way together. With a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. We're going to plant our hands. Our right foot's going to come back into just a normal lunge. Bring your knee down, untuck your back toes, and this time, toes pointing forwards, our knee somewhere underneath our chest. 
breathe. And if you can come down onto your forearms, your knee doesn't stop your chest from coming down onto your forearms, that would be interesting. <laughs> but sink into those hips. Hopefully your chest is resting on top of your, of your knee or close to it. Awesome work, you guys. Tuck your back toes, maybe lift the knee again. Inhale, gaze forwards. Exhale, back foot to the top. Inhale, half lift, one more lunge. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, left foot back. Lower the knee, untuck the toes, sink into the hips. Find the breath. Nice job, you guys. If you'd like, tuck your toes, lift your knee. Inhale, gazing forwards. Exhale, bring your back foot to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step all the way back into downward facing dog. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lower your knees down to your mat. Cross your ankles, have a seat. So sitting cross-legged or half lotus. Bring one foot on top of your thigh or as close to your hip crease as you can. Half lotus. Full lotus if you want. Cross-legged, half lotus, full lotus. Hands to your knees, closing your eyes. And inhale to lengthen through your spine. With the exhale, let your head just tip over towards your right shoulder. And then slowly let your chin tip down towards your shoulder as well. And just slowing down your breath here. Feeling the love through the neck and maybe the legs and the hips. And just letting the chin slowly lift. Keep your head tipping over towards the right. And then use an inhale to lift your head back up. And either keeping your eyes closed or looking down to the floor in front of you, we're just gonna unwind our legs. Shake it out as much as you need to shake it out. And then switch the way that you are crossing your leg. So half lotus, with the other leg coming up. Full lotus, cross-legged. Long spine, eyes closed. Slowly letting your head tip over towards your left shoulder. And then letting the chin get heavy. Let it tip down. Nice and slow, letting your chin lift. Keep your head tipping over. And then use an inhale to slowly bring your head back. Awesome, you guys. If you need to shake out your legs a little bit, or maybe you're just going to stay seated the way you are, you can start to move your hands together in front of your heart, though. One more inhale, lengthen your spine again. And let it go with a big exhale. Awesome practice, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, namaste.